Hey everyone, this is the Gig Guy London and I just want to talk about today's decision by the Employment Appeals Tribunal uh, versus Uber in regards to workers' rights for Uber drivers. Um, firstly, I want to cover the impact it's going to have on Uber drivers um, and then the company as a whole and any other far-reaching implications for the gig economy. So let's talk about um, Uber drivers first. How is this going to affect Uber drivers? Um, so immediately, there is going to be no change to Uber drivers. There's going to be no annual leave, no sick pay, and no paid breaks. Um, Uber drivers are going to continue to work on a self-employed basis, um, filing their own taxes at the end of the financial year, as opposed to um, being PAYE. Um, what does this mean for the company as a whole? Uh, Uber... Um, stated that it plans to appeal this, this decision. Um, they said that there's an assertion um, by um, the um, prosecuting team that um, drivers have to accept 80% of the requests, the trip requests, um, in order to, to stay um, valid on the Uber app. Uber says this is not true for Uber drivers in the UK. And um, Uber has also stated that prior to them coming along, all minicab drivers in the UK were self-employed, which is a fact. Okay, um, are there any other um, wider reaching implications for the gig economy with this decision? Um, I think companies like Yodel, Amazon, Herms and Deliveroo will be watching this process um, go through the courts with great significance. Um, not only does it have um, a knock-on effect um, for these companies, but it also has a knock-on effect for people who work in partnership with these companies. Um, and it will land them with a big bill as well, should it be the case that the decision goes through, not only through the um, Court of Appeal, but also through the Supreme Court, which will be the last stage, um, failing any other um, appeal decisions. So um, I think there's still a long way to go in terms of um, this court process and workers' rights for not only people who work with Uber, um, but all people who work for other companies in the gig economy and um, their employment rights. Um, do you work in the gig economy? Do you work for Uber or Yodel or Amazon? Deliveroo or any of these other companies. Herms, you're a Herms employee. I know they've been in the papers um, and online in the news recently. Um, how would that affect you? Uh, do you like being self-employed? Would you like to be classed as an employee and claim uh, benefits? Um, do you like the fact that you can just do a couple of hours here and there for Uber? Um, what will happen to Uber? if um, they go through the um, final stage um, of the appeals process and lose. Um, Uber will obviously have to pay a big bill for all these benefits that are, will have to be backdated. And then they'll have to decide whether it's um, financially viable to remain in the UK. Um, this is gonna be a big decision. Do you use um, the Uber service uh, as a customer to get from A to B? How has this benefited your life? Um, is it made um, transportation a bit easier? I know people in um, rural and um, suburban areas sometimes um, have a bit of a problem getting connections from A to B. Um, and Uber um, has made um, their travelling a bit more stress-free. Um, leave your comments, suggestions and thoughts below. Um, it would be nice to hear what other people have got to say on this issue. Um, this is the gig guy, London, signing out. Peace.